Don't fight it. It's time to go up a size. This is the biggest, the biggest, the biggest. This is the biggest. Our biggest show. The Hodaki Big Show. With Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. G'day, you mad bastards. Uh. Uh, great to have you company this uh, Wednesday afternoon, the 5th of July, hump day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's say that again. I uh, yeah. hope you're having a great day out there, wherever you are. Thanks for tuning in, by the way. Jeez, we appreciate it. Not you, though, Pete. You're a dick. So wherever you may be, just maybe undo the buttons a little bit, release the bout a few notches. Just sit back and relax and enjoy the show and Mogi. Speaking of hot, hello. Kia ora. You mad dog, yeah, hey? You're looking pretty hot today, aren't you? You weird hoodie. Thanks, mate. I tell you what, it fits me like a glove. A glove with like holes a in it. Second skin for old D. Hoodie J and D. Keezy, you mad bastard. Actually, it feels weird talking to you like this. How's it going, Keezy, you mad bastard? Yeah, good, thanks, fellas. How hey, are you? Keezy. Yeah, yeah, good, yeah, good yeah, Keezy. Good, good, yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool, though, that little that hot thing we just did. I like Wine that. rats. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it says winter nets. Wine oh, rats. It's, no. Oh. I just love the fact that your T-shirts are so immaculate, Keezy. I really do. I love that you iron them and that mm. you make the effort. You know what I mean? I Keep, don't iron my T-shirts. You, How good many T-shirts you. are you wearing under that T-shirt? Just one. Oh, man. it's just the one T-shirt today. Yep. Under that T-shirt. Because this is just a, t- a willy-nilly, raggedy old T-shirt. I don't ah. care, so I just wear it. But if That's it's a nice T-shirt. the same as the other ones. Anyway, bloody good to see you. Oh, yeah, good to see so, you, Kizzy. Yeah. Hey, look, hey, listen, Wednesday. listen, listen, listen. Woo! Big show ahead, big show ahead. Don't forget, sometime in this hour, I'm picking the pastry that pays for oh, uh, cash um, money. And coming up next, of course, uh, the Hodaki Big Show, Big Pop. Oh, we got a ripper today. Oh, it's an absolute so doozy. Good today. Yeah. In the meantime, here's the lemon heads. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Lemon hits here on the radio, Hodaki uh, Big Show. Don't forget, uh, you can always text us on 3483 about anything, anytime during the show, or give us a call on 0800 Hodaki. But right now, it's time for The Big Poll. Yes, this is a doozy. And I have to say, it's a real bugbear of mine, Mogi. Well, we are talking about it in the break, and you're already. F- Curious. Yes. So let's get into it. Uh, the question of the day for the uh, big poll, backing into car parks, yes or no? And now that is not parallel parking. Not parallel parking. This is reversing into uh, standard car parks that you'd find uh, a at supermarket. a supermarket or a yep. casino, for example. Yes. Anything like um, that. Between the white lines, basically. Yeah, between the yeah. white lines. What's your feeling on it, mate? Because you're coming here, steam it. You were fuming when you came in here today. Well, you said, I've got the big poll for today. Yes. And, and it's been uh, something that I've brought up in previous shows too, uh, because I park at Sky City Car Park, big mm-hmm. car park, plenty of space. The amount of Muppets, the idiots, and the amount of times I'm sitting in my car stuffing my face with cheese balls, watching people back into car parks. They go, out they go, in they go, out they go, in they go, out, just over and, and, and out, over and, and, and over again. It drives me batshit crazy. The old in just and go out. in front ways, just one turn in, and then when you come out, come out and one turn away. These Muppets! That go in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, does my head in. So, yeah. what do you do? You go in nose first. Nose first. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, got him. I, yeah. <laughs> I walked into that one. Well done, Kizzy. Uh, yeah, what about yeah. you, Mike? What do you do? Uh, I reverse into parts. Yeah, genuinely. Yeah. Yes. Now, what you're describing there to me, Jace, is not an issue with people backing into parks. It's an issue with bad drivers because you shouldn't have to take multiple attempts to back into a park it's a straightforward procedure now if you're a bad driver and you don't know how to do it then that would be annoying it's not good whether it's going back into the park or forwards into the park both ways it's the that is the problem it doesn't matter whether they're going forwards or backwards to me it's you're annoyed at a bad driver so I I do it in one smooth move you wouldn't be annoyed at me mate you'd love me you'd get out you'd applaud me 
You go, geez, how do you do that? I've never been able to back into a park before. Oh, Teach me. Look, and, and in my defence, I'm I'm good at backing into car parks, but I just choose I not to. I don't believe you. Um, I don't I, believe you. And, and my point is, when you go in front ways, particularly where I park, it's a big car park, so there's mm. plenty of space. You just turn in once. Front ways. Yeah, but and then when you leave the car park, you reverse out straight and then you and drive one off. Turn. Yeah, but, but that's one two way. movements. That's um, two movements. That's two, two movements. So when you're backing into a park, you go out and then reverse in. So that's two movements. But so when you leave, it's one movement out. It you just may drive very out. well be. No, but it may very well be that you know. It's I'm talking about bad drivers, but the amount of time I've never had to wait behind someone going in front ways. The amount of times I've had to wait for people backing into a car but park. But have you is had to wait? Ridiculous. Have you had to wait for people backing out of a car park? Yeah, that's but where you not, do your waiting. No, but not not in the sense of them going in and out, in and out, in and out. They go out once, they turn once, and they're gone. So they're a good driver. So then. well, no, because yeah. you can't go eh, 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 when you're coming so out it, of a car park. So you can't go eh, 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 you if you don't know what you're doing. Out and then turn and okay. drive off. So just to clarify, big poll today: bad drivers, <laughs> yes or no? I'm picking Kizzy, you're backing it into the car park as well type I'm, fella. Si- I'm situational. Right. Basically, I will back into it if it looks like it'll be easy. Yeah. And otherwise, if it's a tight squeeze, I'll just go in front ways and deal with it later. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, feel free to text us on the subject 3483. Oh, or please you can give call us, us. Or call us and on please call us with an opposing view to Jace. Well, I've already. Well, it's already two to one. <laughs> so if you agree with me, give me a call. Oh, 800 Hodaki, by the way. BK <laughs> versus on office. It gets stuck in. Yeah. Here's Pluto. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Oh, yes, indeed. Pluto there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Wednesday afternoon, 15 minutes past four o'clock. The uh, Hodaki Big Show big poll today, backing into car parks, yes or no. Now, just to clarify, we're not talking about parallel parking. No. We're talking about car parks in your supermarkets, your casino, perpendicular car parks. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nick, you mad bastard. What's your view on that? Oh, I mean, like, you just got to be showing off if you're backing into a park, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Only good drivers do it. You're right. You're right, Nick, yeah. Uh, and yeah, I seem... Seem... Like... You go, mate. Oh, no, well, I mean, like, you get, you got, you get you got a big camera on the back. Like, just drive it in. Yeah, so you can back it in all good. You've got a camera. That's what he's saying. Good drivers do it and people with cameras. Yeah, and people with cameras. I don't, I don't have a camera well, on my car. you all the time in the middle of the car park, though? Aren't you just, like, holding people up? Well, you're one, you're one yes, move. thank you. Thank you, Nick. Well, you're actually one move in, one move out. And, wow. but, uh, but again, again, oh. if, you are, if you are a bad driver, yeah. uh, then, then it will be multiple attempts. But if you're a good driver, you'll be fine. All right, well, Tyler, like a bad bastard. driver complainer. Ty- Tyler, what do you think, mate? Well, it depends. So, you know, the more you spin that that fancy disc in front of you, the more tension goes on the steering wheel. So if you turn into a car park, you can reverse out of the car park and the tension on the steering wheel will guide you out happy as days. Right. So, so I'm just trying to clarify what you're saying. Are you saying forward going in front? Forward, forward works perfectly fine because the tension on the steering wheel will pull you back out of it when right. you reverse. Yeah, so thank what you, I Tyler. Think, thank what you. I think Tyler's saying there as well is that because you've usually got your one hit hand holding a packet of cheese balls the other hand in the packet you can actually back out with the steering wheel doing all the work oh yeah, yeah. i mean let me clarify i'm steering with my legs yeah right you know what i mean with my thighs yeah because uh, i am holding cheese balls um what what tends to be the consensus on the text machine here fellas on um, 3483 well here's a good text on 3483 always back into a car park if you can't you must have the ability of a restricted driver jace pardon <laughs> Restrict, yeah. Restricted. Uh, a lot of people are saying that it's actually easier to reverse in because the uh, pivot point is at the rear of the car rather than the front. So that's science right there. It's easier to back science, in. Right? Okay. Yeah, no, look, I'm not convinced. All I, all I can talk about is my own experience uh, in the car park that I do every day. Right. And it's always the Muppets backing in that hold me yeah. up. That's right. what I'm saying. Well, if you'd like to vote on this big poll, head to the Hodaki Big Show Instagram uh, page there. We've got the poll up and running, and we'll be recapping that towards the end of the show. So, Yeah, great stuff. Oh, there's this one here. It says, Keezy's Nose First Park Gold. That's from Steve. You like that one? Oh, Nose First Park. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Five good. bucks, Pugs. <laughs> <laughs> Hodaki Big Show Podcast. You two there on the radio, Hodaki uh, Big Show this Wednesday afternoon. And I tell you what, the Hodaki Big Show Big Poll, Mogi, people are fired up, mate. They are fired up Look, on I, 3483. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know that this was going to ignite 
Uh, such huge debate. Yes. Everybody has got an opinion yeah, on this. Yeah, they're really having it. And, and the big poll today is backing into car parks, yes or no. Now, we're not talking parallel parking. We're talking in your supermarkets and your casinos and your, what do you call them? Your vertical, perpendicular. Your perpendicular yeah. car so, parks. And just to clarify, you are anti it. I'm massively anti it. Mogi, you are pro. I'm pro. And, 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 I, that, and, it's, and that is, I'm situational like you are, yeah. Casey. I don't do it every single time. That's right, yeah. I do it as and when required. Can I just say, that I'm massively anti other people doing it. Oh, you love doing it yourself. Yeah, I mean, I'm zip, I'm in there, you know. I don't believe don't that. Uh, one go sweet as a nut. Um, <laughs> sure. Luke, you mad bastard. How's life? Oh, g'day, guys. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I'm yeah. in the supermarket at the moment, actually. Oh, yeah, good good stuff, hey, mate. I'll tell you what, I think they're doing a special on cheese balls. <laughs> oh, hello. <Alex. laughs> I'll go right there now. Grab me a couple of packets, would you, Luke? Yeah, hey, well, I'll send them up. Hey, listen, mate, how did you park in the car park today? Did you back in it or did you go front ways? Um, well, I sort of drove in and I had a look around, saw what other cars were about. And then I, I started backing in and then I got nervous. Yes. So I just pulled forward and went straight in. Because I I always assume that the way you park in a car park is very related to your lovemaking. Right, okay. Yes. Yeah. How so? Well, someone like Keezy, you know, a, a freshly engaged young man, he'll just he'll just drive straight in there flat out. <laughs> so <knocking around. laughs> right so Get the job done. Get in, get out. And, um, you know... I don't know, someone like Jeremy Wells, he might sort of tentatively look around. He might back in there slowly to sort of see what's happening. Yeah, you, and yeah. Then someone like you know Jace I mean? will struggle to even start the car. Is that what you're yeah, saying? exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, you might <laughs> even get halfway in and just sort of give up and just leave it on an angle. <laughs> That's 10 bucks. Uh, thanks, Pugs. <laughs> thanks, Luke. Yeah, good on you, Luke, you mad bastard. Uh, we've also got some texts here on 3483 on the subject, and fellas. It, now, let me just say, they're fired up. Hoyt, you absolute muppet. It's safer to back into a park because then you can see when you drive out. Oh, okay then, smart ass. When you're back into the supermarket car park then and you've got your four bags of groceries, oh, how convenient is it to go to your boot that's up the other end of the car park? <laughs> Just a reminder, I'm just reading on behalf of the texters. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's not yeah. you, Keezy. Yeah, cool. Why would you back in? How would you get your groceries out, you muppet? Thank but, you! Yeah. Well, we are not not 100% of car parks are at supermarkets. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, point yeah, taken, yeah. point taken, point taken. <laughs> Jace, do you have one of those little knobs on your steering wheel so that you can eat cheese balls and steer at the same time? Yes, I do. Yeah, a flog knob. Yeah, a flo- yes. <laughs> uh, and here's a great one from Rizla. Uh... Bit rich giving parking advice, Hoggle. If I remember correctly, your license is expired. Therefore, you're, it's not valid. So, how about you sit back, have a durry and a cheese ball, and leave this to Mogi and Keezy? Jeez, wise words coming through today. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you what. <laughs> it's very rare that I get put in my place, but uh, that certainly happened. That you, certainly happened. Keep those texts coming on 3483. You got reversed into your place as well. You didn't yeah. go in front ways. <laughs> if you want to vote, don't forget Hodaki Big Show, Instagram poll. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. <laughs> mm. Radio Hodaki's Beer and Pie July. Yeah, for the seventh year running, actually, fellas. Um, what? What? Hey. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. Oh, I, I would describe in words what Mogi's <laughs> doing right now, but actually I won't do that because uh, I just got what he was doing. <laughs> Suffice to say, filthy and disgusting. <laughs> no, uh, poor of duty. Win flights anywhere to pour a cold one with a mate. All you need to do is text BEAR to 3483 to enter. It's pretty simple, fellas. That's, That's right, man. If you want to be reunited with a long-lost mate, maybe they're overseas somewhere, you want to go link up and have a cold one together, this is your way to do it. Can it's I all catch up with somebody that's in New Zealand somewhere? Max. Uh, sure. Thanks, Max. Yeah, totally. So why? Is there someone in New Zealand? You no, I just to... wanted to check because there seems to be a lot of emphasis on going overseas. Well, it's just anywhere, really. Anywhere. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah anywhere, yeah, yeah. for sure. So yeah. you were yeah. saying, Keezy, off here just before that uh, you'd reconnected on uh, Messenger there with an old girlfriend and she's over in, where was it? I think it was Amsterdam. Uh, you said, that'd be good. I could go over there and pour her a beer. Yeah, no, I said I, um, I'd i found her and I'd yeah. messaged her, but she hadn't responded. Oh no! You, and I was quite upset about it. Right, and but you were thinking, you know, if and you I was like, t- if she responds, if you were to turn up there and pour her a beer, she'd yeah. be stoked. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, well, that's what my even that's though my she thought. broke it off. 
Yeah, and it's yeah, been yeah. like what over thirteen years ago. But I still think it'd be cool to relink. Yeah, yeah, link up. Sorry. Maybe that, I mean, not who, relink. who's to say, Maggie? Uh, it could be that. It could she be, could be know, the one, Keezy. You could rekindle an old romance. Who me? No, I um, anyone out there. You know what I mean? That's true. There might be a, a the girl, one that got away. The one that got away. Thank you. Exactly that, mate. And you fly over there and you go. Surprise! G'day. Yeah, surprise! It's Hoodie J. Yeah. yeah. Wait, so you're flying over? Even well, no, you're I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm married in that scenario. So the person Jeezy. flies over and says, "Hey, it's Hoity J." Well, no, a person goes over there and goes, you know, and just turns up at a cafe or yeah. something like that. Right. Sidles up next to her and goes, pours her a cold one and says, "Good day, love." Well, yeah. is, it, is the cafe BYO? Good day. Well, well, no, you know. A European cafe, so it's probably got booze, you know, beers, oh, yeah, yeah, maxes yeah. in there, and that sort of stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, whatever the case may be, yeah. If you'd like to relink with someone, have a cold one. Text the word beer, just beer, B E E R, to three four eight three. Yeah. Not- now, just want to stress that because people have been texting in the, the word beer, and oh, I can't wait to enter this competition. Well, congratulations, you're not entered. No, just beer, just the word beer. No full stop, like Jace when he didn't want to donate to charity that time. It's just B-E-E-R to 3483. Get yourself in the draw. It's thanks to Max. Here's to interesting. Yeah, totally. It's a beauty. It's a doozy. In the meantime, here's a bit of David Bowie for you. Some bastards just texted him B-A-R-E. To <laughs> <laughs> do. Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Oh, yes, indeed. Good shirt there on the radio. Hodaki uh, Big Show this Wednesday afternoon. The time is 4.48. And I tell you what. The uh, controversy still rages on on 3483 with our big poll today uh, backing into car parks, yes or no? The massive rager. Yeah, huge rager. What, the big poll? Yes. Hey, I had a uh, bit of an embarrassing situation come up over the weekend. You're there. joking. I did, I did. I had a mate up from Wellington. I've got actually got a few. He is a, uh, he's a, a painter. And a photographer as well, actually. Very good. So, like, house painter or, like, artist? No, no, artist. 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 Yeah, yeah. Artist, um, yes. Yeah, and he came up. I've got a few uh, bits and bobs off him over the years. Actually got me one for my, uh, for my 30th. It was sort of this abstracty thing. Yeah. And he got me, he painted it. He gave yeah. it to me, wrote a lot of nice message on the back, uh, give it to me that for my 30th. That's year. pretty nice. And then a couple of months later, it was his engagement party, so I'd give it back to him. Yeah, nice. Why was he offended? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, he looked it. Yeah, he did look offended. Right. Uh, but I got it out of the house, you know, so that yeah, was good. Yeah, yeah. But some of the stuff he does, I like. So I bought those. And um, I had, a, I had, I've got these up around the house, and he's coming anyway, and I'm sort of going, hey, have a geese at this, <laughs> and you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he's gone, oh, well, that one there actually is, um, that's upside down. Oh, you, my. You're joking. Well, that, so that was a, but that was an, an, another one of these abstract bastards. Oh, right. Okay. And so I just sort of, well, you know, I mean, what am I meant to do there? I yeah. mean, to me, it's, it looks abstract. I don't know what it is. Well, it's in the eye of the beholder, isn't it? Well, that's you right. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is. Um, and so I bugged it up there, but I've had it upside down for probably six or seven years. Yeah. No yeah. one's ever seen anything before. Really? So if nobody else notices, then I don't really see what the... What the issue is. And yeah, it's yeah, mine, no, so enough. he should... Sh- I mean, should he shut up about it? I tell him if it's upside down. I'd agree. Well, that's and he's told me right. it's upside it's, down, I say, it, no, it's yours. not, mate. I put it up on the wall. That's you, how I like you it. You hang it how you want to hang it. That's right. You're lucky yeah, yeah. I don't give it back to you. Yeah, exactly. Again. Yeah. So what was the painting of? So like, abstract, was it like a... Well, he said it was a bowl of fruit. And when I, I said bullshit, it looks nothing like a bowl of fruit. Oh, I've got a bowl of fruit over there. It doesn't look like that. Right. But it's like one of those magic eye things, you know, when you do that thing with your eyes on those books. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he turned it upside down. And I tell you what. Oh. Exactly like a bowl of fruit. Exactly like a bowl of fruit. So I give it back to him because I don't want a bowl of fruit on my wall. Yeah, because what am I a loser? Yeah, Wait, run of the mill, run of the mill, the old bowl of fruit. Pretty eh? standy. Yeah, what, yeah, but you'll that's have student stuff. You'll have an upside down bowl of fruit. No worries. Yeah, man, that's out of it. Yeah, <laughs> oh, far out. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Welcome back, you mad bastards. Hope your Wednesday's going along quite nicely. Thanks very much. Keep those uh, texts coming uh, for relationship advice, by the way, on 3483. Especially if you want to go in the draw for BK vouchers as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, and also, our big poll today, if you're just joining us big for the first time. Oh. You're just jumping you're in the car. Um, backing into car parks, yes or no? And we're talking... Yeah, not your not your parallel parking, your yep. supermarket <laughs> shopping, and your perpendicular, perpendicular park. Yeah, uh, what's what's the sort of update there at the moment, Ooh. Keezy? What are we looking at? I see. Well, last time I checked, it was exactly fifty fifty. That was last time. And I what checked, about Jace. now? Now, sixty three percent of people agree that backing into car parks is okay. Okay, right, that's okay. Gone, that's well, gone up that's, by about fifteen percent yeah. there, Keezy. That makes me feel like uh, throwing up a little bit, to be honest. So that's like three big poles that you've been on the wrong side of in a row. So you must be. I'll tell you what, you're going to be that. having a massive bag of cheese balls to cheer yourself yeah, well, you up. See, on this is what happens home. when when the big pole doesn't go my way. I just hit the cheese balls. Yeah, yeah but what you about, about what the I'm three saying? months prior to us starting the big pole? Well, that, you know, yeah, I mean, fair point, Casey. Fair it was, point. It mostly generated by the throbber. Yeah, true. Hey, also, don't uh, forget, coming up sometime this hour, so stay tuned, the pastry that pays. Oh, yeah. Yes, $100 ca- yeah. Dollars cash to win in the meantime. Let's kick off with a bit of radio oh. head, shall we? Sweet. Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Mm, I love you so much. We need to talk. I'm going out with the boys. Hey, babe, have we got anything on this weekend? Relationship advice with Jason Mike. Yes, indeed, actually. Um, on that front, Maggie had a dinner with my wife last night, date night. My wife! Did. Very nice. It's important, you know, in a relationship, as 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 well you would you would know, you know, with your wife. Your wife. Um, to take the time to uh, connect with each other, you know, and have special time together. Special time. You know, sometimes you get overwhelmed with everything that's going on. In you the forget world. each just, other. Yeah, you forget. Thank yeah, you. And, and you got to make sure you nurture your own relationship sometimes. That's you know? true. You know what I'm saying? That's true. A lot of people out here on 3483 needing help from you guys. Relationship help. That doesn't surprise me. It's tough times, Keezy. It sure is. G'day, guys. My partner keeps buying crunchy peanut butter. Should I leave without saying goodbye, or do I make a massive scene? Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's interesting because I'm actually on the side of a crunchy peanut butter. Big time. Um, You were saying off here, Keezy, when you were a younger man and you didn't have your property developing wealth... Um, that you used to run with a smooth peanut butter because that lasted longer. It didn't have the big chunks in it. Mm. And I admire that. Tight-fisted son of a bee. Yeah, no, I Mind actually you, thought you were going to go down a different path. Yeah, that, yeah, what I was going to say, now that you're on the beersy so heavily, um, <laughs> you need the crunch and the fibre, don't you, Keezy, for your your midnight steamers. <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, in my... In my cu- if we could just answer the question that, here, that, fellas, that, that'd that be great. Is, that is, from my point of view, Mogi. Pack your bags, pack yep. everything up, and a silent leave. Right. No explanation. Right. You're gone. It's <laughs> over. We're finished. We're bit, done and moved to another country. Bit full on just for peanut butter, isn't it? No. G'day, guys. I'm currently dating two girls mm. at once, and mm. it's crunch time. Do I choose Ooh, the crunchy. one? Ah, that's yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. You like that? Do yeah. I choose the one I get on with really well, or the other one who's the greatest lover I've ever had? Oh. Cheers. Oh, right. <sighs> You see, this is the conundrum I always had in my life. You know, the great personality, Dud terrible root. lover, Dud Root. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about me. You. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Me, I had yeah. great personality, but I was just hope, yeah. hopeless in the sack. Yeah. Couldn't quite get the rhythm. You were arrhythmic. They said like a like a a, a poorly timed heartbeat. <laughs> yes. I I was I was offbeat. You know what I mean? What's that? You know when you're, you're on dark, the one three. You, what the one yeah. three? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's on four four. D- yeah, no good. D- 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 <laughs> um, g'day guys. Absolutely obsessed with this chap I work with. Oh, how hot is he? However, just found out he likes to back into car parks. <laughs> Must wear a. Oh. No. <laughs> what do I do? Marry oh, him. Man. That's a no. That's a no go for Morty J. Yeah, that is a massive egotistical male. Oh, just back into this bastard. Nah, yeah. you're better off done without him. I'm telling you. Uh, last one here, but feel free to keep him coming on three four eight three. 
My missus wants me to go to her birthday dinner with all of her family, but it's a long weekend and I want to go fishing. What do I do? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is a classic, mate. It is. It is. Yeah, I mean, look, it's one of those things where, you know, it's your missus, you're at a point in the relationship where you've already met the family. I think it's quite simple. You can sit her down and just have a mature adult-to-adult relation, uh, relationship chat and just say, look, uh, I'd actually earmark this weekend for a fishing trip with the boys, I'm assuming. It's not often you go by yourself. Um, I've spent a lot of time with your family. It'll be great for me to be able to get away. And she will just, you know, she'll be able to accept that and just sort of say, okay, fair enough, and I'll just do this trip by myself this time and I can't see you having any further issues whatsoever. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you're joking. No, you're going on the family trip, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Enjoy that, mate. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. I love you so much. We need to talk. I'm going out with the boys. Hey, babe, have we got anything on this weekend? Relationship advice with Jason Mike. You know, another thing I like to do too, Mogi, which I think is a, a good tip for everyone in a relationship, particularly yeah. a long-term one, is to, you know, I like to treat my, my lovely wife to flowers every week and just... Little surprises, you know what I mean? Stuff hidden under the pillow there. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I know what you're saying. Yeah, bit of candle scenario, bit of rose petal action. Oh, yes. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. Scented candles, all that jazz. Sure. You know, just, just take some time to really make you feel special, Keezy. Special. That's great advice, Jase. Thanks, um, man. People in need of some good advice, actually, on 3483. Keep the text coming in. G'day guys, my father-in-law comes over and often helps us by taking over the DIY. However, he keeps leaving skids in my toilet. How do I approach this? Because obviously you don't want him to stop working. Nah, well that's, that's you, you've got a sort of a keysy set up there, haven't you? Where you got the old man coming over and doing all the work. And, yeah, I, was, yeah. I mean, how Snap. good, how Okay, good. that's good, I thought you were going to say yeah, the skids yeah, yeah. were a keysy set up. Um, and then, nah, your skids are in the shower, which is weird. That- um... But carry on. I would say and I think you, pr- you could potentially you could potentially prank him by putting the old glad wrap over the uh, the toilet there. How do you encourage a man, Jace, to uh, to scrub a toilet afterwards? Because I was actually at the gym today. Can I say this? I might save that for tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a good one. H- how do right. you encourage a man not to do skids on the toilet? Well, to clean up after himself. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be honest with you. I'm not a skidder. Um, Do you talk about your three perfect tubes again? No, I'm not going to talk about those, but they are. Um, I, you but know I have. Yeah. No, I, but I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll be honest here. I never clean the toilet. Yeah, my wife always does. My that. wife. And um, <laughs> actually, I won't. No, you carry on. Yeah, no, yeah. Please, no, continue. Continue. No, I think, no, honestly, it no. doesn't matter about the DIY stuff. I think you've got to sit him down, and then while he's sitting down, just give him the de-douge. Yeah. Because it'll be easier to give him the de-douge when he's sitting down, you see. You say, hey, I've got to have a chat to you about something, Dad, and you sit him down, and you get de-douge. Punch him in the face. I, I, yeah. But I think also, I think also too, older people, as they as people get older, they're a bit shakier on the bowl there. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And so, I, you know, you've got to, have a, bit of experience, com- got to have a bit of compassion as well. Yeah. Um, good answer, fellas. Here's another one. This is from Josh. Hey, guys, the honeymoon phase is well and truly over in my relationship. (laughs) What do I do? Because in my relationship, I feel like it's always the honeymoon phase, personally. The sort of pink cloud. Yeah. The pink cloud phase where everything's beautiful and everything is sparkling and glorious. Now the darkness has swept over the land. Well, I I can, you know, I can um, definitely attest to the fact that my wife suffered that horrific... My wife uh, <laughs> suffered that horrifically, Mogi. Once the deception was yeah. revealed, you know, the true Hoity J came through. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, oh, there's not much you can do about it. You could just got to, it's time to start building a solid relationship. Good, solid relationship there. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Last one on 3483. It's quite a sad one, actually. Uh, G'day, lads. My girlfriend and I broke up about five months ago, and I'm really struggling to get over her. Have you got any advice? (laughs) Loser.
Hauraki Big Show Podcast. Oh, yes, indeed, friends. Ferdinand there on the radio, Hauraki uh, Big Show this Wednesday evening. Now, a lot of people are texting and going, what's happened to the uh, pastry that pays, fellas? Uh, and for those of you that have, uh, are un- unaware of what that's about, Keezy's going to tell you all about it. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, yeah, it's all thanks to our mates at Big Ben Pies. Yes, it it's is. called The Pastry That Pays every single weekday. Every single show has a hundred bucks to give away. Ching ching. Producer Pugs is hoeing into a Big Ben right now. Yeah, yeah, he is. Do you know, yeah, do you know um, how long they've been around for? Big Ben. Yeah. Ah, uh, quite a long time. Correct. Yes. Nineteen sixty-nine. You're joking. That's ages. Yeah, so yeah. long. Yeah, but you see, the issue that I have with this whole thing is that I'm coming in every day and hoeing into a Big Ben pie. I busted you just today, didn't I? Because you, you did? were going to take it into a yeah, private room yesterday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yesterday I said, "Oh, you've been enjoying those." Oh, it's been a yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Playing it down, playing it down. <laughs> um, <laughs> and you ate cheese balls on the way in too. So yeah, well, yeah, I did eat cheese balls on the way in. You take a couple of bites of the pie and stuff a few cheese balls in the bastard. Oh, I'll give Whoa, a bit of extra. Actually, God. you know what Jace did today. So he got got his pie on the plate, covered the whole lid in sauce. Yeah. He then cut into it, but cut a slot out of the middle, the very middle of the pie, and ate that bit first. How weird's that? Oh, the centre, not he, no crust. Into the centre, yeah. Right. That so is, he didn't. That bo- is, I haven't heard of that before. I'm not a big fan of pie crust. Right. That's the best part of the pie for me. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, no, I am. I, I have to admit to being very particular about the way I eat my pies. Mm. Um, I'm quite Which methodical. Is methodical as in one a day, every day. Yes, well, it's going to be this month, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it is. Uh, but it's also At your oppo- it's also your opportunity to win a hundred bucks free cash. That's right. If you hear the officer say blow, always blow on the pie, then give us a call straight away on oh eight hundred Hodaki. We'll take call number three. We'll give him a hundred bucks. It's Sounds that good, easy. man. Sounds good. Bloody good. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Mm. Radio Hodaki's Beer and Pie July. Big Ben, you mad bastard. How's life? Oh, great, fellas. How you all doing? Yeah, good thanks, mate. Yeah, good yeah, thanks, good. man. Yeah. What, uh, what sort of pie do you like to run with, Ben, incidentally? Oh, I love a bit of the old steak and cheese. Oh, oh it's, yeah. That is a phenomenally... Popular a uh, uh, pie, isn't it? I always, steak and cheese. I always found the steak, uh, any steak option, a bit risky because yes. I was always scared of the gristle. Yes, I didn't like the gristle. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, you he bite away and then do do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, what? It just felt like you were joining in for the sake of well, joining in. I was in just there, joining Keezy. in. Yeah, right, yeah. right. I didn't want to throw the convo off. Sorry. What, what, what sort of pie do you run with, Keezy? Uh, butter chicken or steak and mushroom. Steak and mushroom. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, well, the good news for you, Big Ben, is that you've just won yourself a hundred bucks cash. Oh, awesome! Thanks, guys. No worries, mate. No worries, Big Ben. And that's all courtesy of Big Ben, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Are uh, you going to buy yourself some well, pies? I'm going to buy myself the money. Yeah, yeah, you're a good bastard. So you have go to give yourself the yeah, money. Go take the hundred bucks out and then put it in your back pocket. You've earned it. Oh, wicked! Thanks, fellas. Good <laughs> on you, mate. Stay on the line and uh, oh, hang on. Sort of, yeah, what? Yes, just what? quickly, Ben. Mm. What do you do for a crust, man? I uh, work in IT. Ah, oh, backbone! backbone! Huge backbone. <laughs> yeah, good on you, mate. And can I just ask one more question? <sighs> hey, Ben, yeah. is there anyone... Yeah. Who's at, at home right now at your house? Uh, my wife and <laughs> one of my... My wife! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> got him, Bill. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good on you, Keezy. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Get out of a Keezy. <laughs> <laughs> good Lord. Hey, hundred bucks though, pretty good. Yeah, man. I mean, who's going to? I mean, man. who's going to chuck a hundred bucks away? Oh. hundred bucks in the pocket. Think how many pies you could get with that. Exactly man. my thinking. So how many, many cheese balls? Twenty six packets. <laughs> Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. The Pixies. No, on the Radio Hodaki. Just Pixies. Uh, big Show this Wednesday evening. But right now, and always at this time of the day, generally the second break in the six o'clock hour, it's time for The Big Poll. And of all our big polls, 
This one has fired people up a little bit. It has. I should have known. Uh, especially when you're talking about driving, I find, with our audience. Yeah. Uh, they get pretty passionate about it. The question was, backing into a car park, yes or no? That's right. And, Jace, you are adamant that you only drive forwards into car parks. Mogi, you're like me. I prefer to back in, if I'm honest, but yep. it, it, it's situational. Yeah. If I need to get something into the boot, then I'll obviously I'll go in forwards. Uh, guess what? New Zealand agrees with us. Uh, the big poll, which is currently up at Hodaki Big Show on what the Instagram. What percentage disagrees with Jace here? So the sixty-one percent disagree Jeez. with Jace. Thirty-nine uh, percent are on Oof. his side and are therefore Dur brains. That's an indictment. Yeah, man. Yeah, thirty-nine percent. Okay, no, I'll take that. But a lot of texts on three four eight three agreed with you. Uh, for example, this one: only wankers back into parks. Yeah, and Christchurch is full of them. That's obviously from some old boomer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sounded my, quite young to me, actually. Nah, I don't know. Uh, my wife usually backs in and out. About my wife. <laughs> my wife. Uh, my partner usually backs in about eight times and hits the car every time. Yeah. So, so she backs in and she's really terrible at it. Yeah. yeah. So well, that's, that's not because which that's most not because, people are. That's not because she's reversing. It's because she's a terrible most driver. Most people are. She's a terrible driver. She's a bad but driver. She's not a terrible driver because she's a woman. No, 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 no. you were saying off air. Well, yeah, 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 that was that's a bit too far. If that's how it came out, no, if it came out, I don't like that. No, I don't like that at all. Me and Andy, my wife. Another text here on three four eight three. I thought it was a good one. Completely lost it. Where, where is it? Well, come on. Are we going to say there's another text on three four eight three, Keezy? What is it? I'm so, I'm so sorry. Um, g'day, guys. Oh no, oh, he's making God, one he's up. Make, you're making Go it on. up, Keezy. Just, no, just to let everyone know no, he's no, making no. one up. Let's hear it. I'd be interested to hear it. Yeah, because remember, it's supporting Hoity J. G'day, guys. I always, this chain here, I always back into parks just in case there's a tornado. That way I can evacuate the area immediately. Cheers, that's from Darren. Yeah, good. I thought that was Shane. Yeah, uh, at the start you said it was Shane. Yeah. Ads up next, man. I love ads. Can we play the uh, ads? Right. Are they good ads? Yeah, yeah really good, All man. Up. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Tom Petty there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Wednesday hump day. And uh, as always at this time around sort of 6.30ish in the evening, it's a bit of uh, this. What's on the telly? With Mike Minogue. Yeah. Ah. Still got it. Sounds so good. Still got it. I went to Cirque du Soleil last night. Mm. Cirque du Soleil. Crystal. That's not how you pronounce it. Oh, is it Sole? I think so. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's not bad. Not bad. Usually people come away from that going amaze balls. Yeah, it was. It was in the mo. It was really. It was amazing. Like, and like they are amazing. Uh, what was it though? There's no. There was no trapeze right. thingies. Yes, it was on ice. Yeah, that- it, was, it was amazing. But it was like there was a lot of jumps and things which was sort of like rollerblading. And it's like well. Yeah, I saw that they had lots of ramps and stuff yeah, yeah. like that. Look, yeah, don't yeah. get me wrong. It was unreal. They had. Uh, Clowns, man. They had cl- a, cl- a clown. And when you think about clowns, you're not generally very excited by it. But proper clowns, like old fashioned old circus school, clowns. not circus clown, right. the, the French version of a clown. Yes. Oh, wow. They're yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, Just, yeah. This guy was unreal. So he was awesome. The juggler was, there's a juggler. And you think again, oh, God, a juggler. Uh, you wouldn't think that'd be the highlight. That was a highlight. Unreal, unbelievable oh, juggler. God yeah, damn it. yeah. And um, and then lots of ice skating, which was all good. Yeah, like amazing, amazing. Well, I think the thing that made me makes me not go, oh my god, unbelievable, is it didn't really end on a huge finale. Yeah, yeah. It was sort yeah, of yeah. like a. Um, it just sort of seemed to peter out a bit. Yeah, I'm not entirely totally sure what the story was. I would say I've got. I would say definitely go and see it. Take your kids if you can. The best bit was there's this kid sitting behind us who would have been four years old. He was like Ralph. Ralph off, Wiggum. Off. Oh, no. Nah, the other one. Simpsons. Who's the other one? Oh. Uh-huh. Nelson. 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 Yeah, yeah. Like the whole place is quiet. <laughs> this clown's going around throwing snowballs at people and falling on his face and just hurting himself and other people. And this kid, man, 
was just dying laughing. <laughs> a four-year-old kid, just his, and the whole place started cracking up because he was cracking up. Yeah, yeah. But his parents were like not that into it. I was right. like, this kid rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this kid rules. And I complimented the mother later, and she was not, yeah, she didn't seem thrilled. Anyway, yes. I think it's definitely worth going, M- depending mate, on how much the tickets are. When I did uh, Cirque du Soleil, yeah. I was in the best nick of my life. You know, we, we, oh. we have a lot of um, gym chat and stuff. Mate, I was in peak physical condition yeah. when I did Cirque du Soleil. Which one did you do? Because there's like 10 of them. What do you mean? Which Cirque du Soleil did you do? Eight of them. The Sole. Oh, you did eight of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Right, mm. and so this isn't when you used to do the Wheel of Steel or the Wheel of Death with Mike on the motorbikes? No, that was a different thing. Oh, okay. Well, there was yeah, no yeah, motorbikes yeah, as well. Was, and we just that ran straight. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, and, and the dedication and the training that's required, mate. Well, it's, we were talking earlier quite, on about when we joined the clown school over yeah, in Paris, yeah. weren't we? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's not easy. It's not totally. for everyone. What did you watch, Jace? Oh, I don't have time for that now, Keezy. Oh, but I want to talk about but what I, I watched. I'll tell you what I watched uh, again, Goliath. But I went out for dinner last night with my beloved, so, you know, then... Passionate love making, and so I wasn't that keen on right watching something. I watched another episode of Black Books with Dylan Moran, famously our worst ever interview. The writing is incredible. There's a scene where Manny, aka Bill Bailey, goes, <laughs> "What do you do? You like my beard? What do you, do you like my beard?" And then um, Dylan Moran's character goes, "I think you should shave it off, nail it to a frisbee, and fling it over a rainbow." And I'm just like, "How do you even think of that? It's yeah. So random, you know what I mean?" Off your head, probably. Yeah, that, I yeah, think it definitely yeah, is. That, yeah, pissed yeah. off your head. Good yeah. stuff. So Thanks. good. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Blink 182 there on the radio. Hodaki uh, Big Show this Wednesday evening. Hey, now, exciting news, fellas, on the musical front. The uh, Teskey Brothers Tour. Oh, have you heard about that? Yeah. They're coming um, from Aussie, aren't they? Yeah, well, actually, I had one of, we had one of the brothers in here a little while back. Um, Brother Soul number one. Yes. A uh, hell of a voice on him, I tell you oh, what. Oh, yeah. They, they can sing those he sounds, songs. Yeah, he, he they sounds, can really sing. He sounds like someone out of Motown or, you know what I mean? He's yeah, got such he's got, a soulful it, yeah, voice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very soul-y. That's a good like description me. there, Keezy. Yeah, like Mogi when he has laryngitis. Yeah, yeah. That so husky soulful. sort of hue to it. Yeah. Um, uh, and the dates for those when are, are they? Well, they're coming in December. They've had yeah. an extra show at the Michael Fowler Centre, which is in Wellington. Oh, that's in Wellington. Yeah, because the first one already sold, sold out. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, also, it's in that Grammy nominated. And they've got a new al- album coming out as well if it's not out already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gra- yeah, yeah, yeah. They're Grammy nominated. Um, oh, oh, you're joking. Losers. Still pretty good. Don't. Look, well, we no don't, one's denying that, Keezy. We don't know if they've won the Grammy yet. They've just been nominated. Oh, just been nominated. I have no idea. Um, yeah. But this gig is brought to you by Radio Hodaki, so we're on board with it. They're playing Auckland twice, Wellington twice, Christchurch at the town hall at the end there. Uh, FrontierTouring.com forward slash Teskey Brothers. Yes. For info and to get tickets. And I'd say closer to the time, we will have some tickets to give away. Yeah, good stuff. I'll be going to that, actually. I'll, I'll be pretty keen the, for that, actually. I'll, yeah, I'll go and check the boys out. Yeah, boys. Which, which gig? Pardon? Which gig are you going to go to? Giggity, the, giggity, the giggity. The one. The Auckland one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you live yeah. in Auckland, right? Yeah, obviously, Keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, now I might make an occasion of it and fly down to Christchurch or something Ch-ch-ch. just to change it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, man, switch it up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So get involved in that uh, December. That's right. And if you do want more information, just head to the gigs page at hodaki.co.nz. That's where we chuck all the info and all the awesome gigs. Yeah, giggity, giggity. Totally. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Well, there you go. We made it, everyone, over the hump, and it's on the downward slide for the rest of the week. Uh, Mogi, your plans, mate? Uh, oh, you've, you've got, got a, a bit meeting, of a... bit of a, a hooey this evening, yeah, so I'll be nice. getting out there to that. And uh, then I've got to go home and sort of start thinking about what I'm going to pack for uh, a holiday to Fiji, off to Fiji. So oh, nice. It's going to be good times. Yeah, yeah, lucky, good man. stuff. Yeah, oh, right. Imagine that. Imagine yeah. that to Fiji, you I lucky bastard. I know. Um, I just, look, all I want is a bit of sun, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yes. A bit of sun. Yeah, I understand totally, mate. Uh, Keezy volleyball for you tonight? Uh, no, it's oh, Wednesday no, bad- night. Badminton. No, that's basketball night. Oh, right. But apparently we're not playing tonight. Well, that's what they've told me anyway. Right. So uh, no game tonight, so I'll just be going home, having dinner with my partner. Um, She's your wife? Is, oh, your, your pa- other one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, just yeah. worried your about... Are oh, your fiancé or your wife? No, I don't want to say my wife because every time I say it, you guys yell out. So I just, I'm that- my partner. Right, okay. okay so we get out what when you say what? Every time I say my wife. My you- wife! 
What are you up to tonight, Jace? Uh, fish tacos for me. <laughs> so good. Fish tacos. <laughs> that sounds really wrong there for some reason, but uh, no, uh, looking forward to those. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of Thanks, here, Jay. Thanks for listening, oh, everyone. And no cheese balls. No <laughs> cheese yeah, balls, Wally yeah. Jay. Yeah, right. All right. <laughs>